This video looks at the effects of various amounts of outside English, less than, equal to, or greater than the gearing amount. Gearing outside English is the amount that results in absolutely no throw or spin transfer. The object ball heads exactly along the line of centers. It's called gearing outside English because the cue ball rolls along the object ball like it's geared to it, like two gears meshing. There's no sliding, so there's no throw or spin transfer. If you have less than the gearing amount of outside English, you get cut, induced, throw, and spin transfer. The line of center's impact line is shown in yellow. The red line shows the thrown direction of the object ball. Because we have less than gearing outside English, the cue ball is sliding along the object ball during contact. In this case, it's pushing down. This throws the object ball to the right of the line of centers and imparts a small amount of counterclockwise spin. When you have more than gearing outside English, you get spin-induced throw. In this case, the cue ball is sliding backwards along the object ball during contact, and that throws the object ball to the left of the line of centers. The throw also imparts a small amount of clockwise spin to the object ball. The amount of English required for gearing action is different for every cut angle, but even at very thin cuts, we can still apply more than gearing outside English and have the ball throw in the spin-induced direction. This example is an extremely thin cut, but we're still getting spin-induced throw to the left.